Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1, Week 15. Week 15, we're looking at intervals. Intervals. What are intervals? Interval is the distance between two notes measured as a number. Interval is the distance between two notes measured as a number. In grade 1 music theory, sometimes we have to measure given intervals and sometimes we have to write notes at a certain interval. Melodic and harmonic intervals. We can measure the distance between two notes which are played together at the same time like this. The distance between these two notes is called a harmonic interval. Or we can measure two notes which are played separately like this. The distance between these two notes is called a melodic interval. We use the same method to measure both kinds of interval. Measuring intervals. When we measure an interval, we always start counting from the lower note. We start counting from the lower note. We then count upwards to the higher note. And then we count upwards to the higher note. So we start counting from here to here. So meaning we starting from down going up. We start counting on the lower note which is C. We count upwards to the higher note E. This gives us C, D, and E. We counted three letter names. So this interval is called a third. If we count four letter names, the interval is a fourth, and so on, until we reach a seventh. If we count eight notes and arrive back at the same letter, the interval is called an octave. If the two notes are the same pitch, it's called a unison. In grade one music theory, all the intervals you have to calculate will start on the tonic, which is the first note of the scale. Here are the intervals built from a tonic C. Unison, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh octave. So it's C to D. It's one, two. So unison is C and C. Same pitch. Third from C, we say D, then E. Fourth, C, D, E, F. Fifth, say C, D, E, F, and G. Sixth, C, D, E, F, G, A. Seventh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Octave C D E F G A B C Intervals in different keys In grade 1 music theory you need to know about intervals in C major, G major, D major and F major The method for working out intervals is always the same no matter what the key is however don't forget that in G major you need F sharp in D major you need F sharp and C sharp and in F major you need B flat 
for example in dmj harmonic interval of a third will be this we start counting on the lower note d we count d e and f sharp three letter names so the interval is a third in f major an interval of a fourth will have a b flat We count F, G, A, and B flat, four letter names, so forth. Writing intervals. When you write intervals in your music theory exam, first you need to work out which notes you have to write. And secondly, you need to write the notes clearly and accurately. If you have to write an interval, you will be given the first lower note of the two, and you will be told what interval to calculate something like this you are given the first and you need to write a seventh you will also be told if you have to write a harmonic or melodic interval this one is a melodic interval so we'll write the second note after the given note remember that we start counting on the lower note which is f in our example we've been told to write a seventh so we count seven letter names upwards so we have f g a b flat c d e the seventh note is e so that's the note we need to write don't forget that we were told to write a melodic interval so in this case we'll write the e after the F and not directly above it. So this is how it should be written. Not like this, but don't forget to look carefully at the clefs. You will normally have about three questions with the treble clef and three with the bass. Some intervals are a bit more awkward to write than the others. They are harmonic, unison, and second. Harmonic intervals are written directly above the given note, but the unison is the same note. And the second is too close to write directly above. We have to move these notes to the side a little. Unison on the same line. Second, slightly on the side. If you try to write a second directly above, you'll produce something unreadable like this. This is not okay. This is wrong. Thank you for watching and let's meet again next time.